Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to be bringing to you a retrospective review of the Moto 360 Generation 1 smartwatch. Now it has since been superseded by the Generation 2, which was released in September 2015, but you can still pick up the Gen 1 online via eBay or Amazon, and you'll pick it up for a steal at around $89 to $150 US, depending on where you buy it from. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features and specifications of the Moto 360 Generation 1 smartwatch. The distinctive 46mm round watch face has a thickness of 11.5mm so it's certainly quite a large and bulky watch but weighing in at 46 grams it feels quite light and comfortable on the wrist. The 1.56 inch LCD touchscreen can display up to 16 million colors at 320 by 290 pixels and it's protected by the Gorilla Glass 3 on the surface. It includes an accelerometer and a heart rate sensor making it ideal for fitness and it uses the impressive Moto Body Fitness app that's built right into the watch that can display your activity in a bright and colorful way making it easy to get access to your stats on the go and you can also get access to them via the accompanying phone app. The lithium ion 320 milliamp battery provides a modest charge giving you about 24 to 36 hours of usage before needing to be recharged but this is made easier to deal with by the convenient charging dock which requires no fiddling around with cables you simply drop your watch onto the dock and it even goes into a nice standby mode that makes it look like a bedside table or desktop alarm clock showing you the percentage of charge in a nice luminous outer rim and a full charge only takes about an hour or so so if you do forget to charge it overnight you can have it up and running for the day in no time. There are plenty of quality and stylish watch faces to choose from when you first install and pair the Moto 360 to your phone and you can get access to many more from the Google Play Store. More noticeable on the lighter watch faces is the fact that the LCD display is not completely round. Some people have referred to this as the flat tire effect. Now it hasn't been addressed in the latest generation two of the Moto 360 watch either. But in my opinion, it's a minor issue and it's barely noticeable, especially when using dark watch faces. The notifications work really well. You'll get notifications from all of your favorite apps, including Messenger, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and in addition, you'll receive notifications of incoming calls and text messages, and you can swipe left to respond to messages directly from the watch using a voice to text, and swipe right to dismiss any messages you choose from the watch face. The Moto 360 Generation 1 is also dust and water resistant, up to one meter for 30 minutes. The watch I have been demonstrating today is the light metal finish with the stainless steel band, but it also comes in various other configurations, including cognac leather, black, stone gray, champagne, and the dark metal finish. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. Also, for those of you interested, I've completed a video demonstrating how to connect the Moto 360 Generation 1 to an iPhone and I've left a link to that video in the description field below. Thanks again and bye for now.